out, people. I'll check out a couple of your messages in a sec, but I think that sets us off perfectly to carry on, people. Like I said, make sure you're hitting the like button. But allegedly, an official bid has been made for Locatelli. Numerous places are saying such people. Um, I actually want to go to what I saw first, first and foremost. Um, so, yeah, let me share my screen with you guys, people. I don't know if Google Translate has been nice, nice to us here, but um, on the on 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 Lacatelli, on Lacatelli, the Swallow CEO has said, "Now the priority is that he remains calm. The national team is important to us. We met Juventus, but we haven't talked about figures yet. So he's already put it there. If anybody wants him, they've met with Juventus. Let's see what he said next. But later on, there is Arsenal, the only club to present an important offer." Then he's spoken about Berardi and gone off to other things. So he's name dropped Juventus and Arsenal. Maybe Juventus are never onto him, and it's just Arsenal. Arsenal need to get their goal. They, you know, need to get their um, plans together for Juventus. I think Arsenal's just being dropped there to pressure them. We hear Juventus allegedly are broke. We hear they're struggling with money. You know, uh, we hear that it's a loan with an obligation to buy. So Swallow probably want more money. Obviously, Swallow, as you do, when you have an appreciating asset and you've got someone that's had a good Euros, you're going to want more money, aren't you? You know, if there was no Euros, probably getting this done for 25, 30, not 40 that's been spoken about. with well within their rights to do such people. So it's a bit of a bit bit more. Arsenal put an offer on the table. Juventus and Arsenal, there's no competition in it. Obviously, this is his homeland and, you know, Italian players do branch out. But for me, anyways, it seems like the really, really good ones, the Barellas, him, they're not really trying to leave the country or at least anytime soon. So he's probably going to stay in the country. Arsenal and Juventus, there's no no competition. You know, stature of the club, arguably. Right now, no, there's Champions League. Allegri versus Arteta. With respect to Arteta, I'm sure you could teach Locatelli a, a lot, but... You know, what are you about in the game? Allegri, you know, he, he, he's done a lot in the game and, you know, he's missed the Juventus in terms of manager. So there's that. And obviously any Italian that's promising, they seem to find their way to Italy. I mean, to um, Juventus. So I can't see it happening for what it's worth. I did speak about them being broke people. And I believe there was a BBC article. Um, What's their name, man? Juventus money. I need to find that people for you guys, man, because apparently Juventus are broke, man. It was a good article on the BBC, man, about about Juventus being broke. Where is it? One sec, people. Hit the like button. I'm finding this for you lot, people. I said it, so I'm going to find it. I can't let you down, man. I've got to do it for the cause. 110 of you in here. 100 likes is the target. Make sure you're patterning up the likes. Now we're doing this for the cause, folks, man. I'm, I'm finding this. I can't lie to you. I'm sorry to cut this off right now, but I'm finding this for you guys, man. There was an article about them being broke. Or, you know what? I might just I might just have to find it later for you guys, people. Um, let me find it, man, because apparently it was it was allegedly speaking about Juventus's financial situation and how they may or may not have money, man. And I know I'm gonna find it after people, so I'm finding it now for you guys. Um, I know one of you found that as well, man. So you know I'm not capping, but let's let's here it is. Wait, 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 wait. Let me find that, copy it to myself. We're never in doubt, people. Anyone who doubted me, God's watching, did it? Don't doubt the guy, man. You can't doubt me. I don't cap to you lot. And I think we can show, you know, there's a DM myself some Reese Nelson news. So that's something to speak about as well. But back to the, the man in question, people. Now, obviously, this puts further pressure on Juventus because we know they need to sell. Just from a sporting perspective, I'm sure, you know, Ramsey, boy, he's not justifying his wages. A couple of other players may be sold. You know, renagli has gone out on loan. Demiral, I don't know if he's going to stay. Juventus fans know better than me. So they're, they're broke like us and everyone's suffering. And, it's you know, this is the article in relation to their finances. Juventus faced 275 million losses due to COVID-19 and are ready to sell shares um, to raise cash. That was a day ago, people. So as you look and say, Juventus say they expect to lose 275 million pounds, 320 euros, people. So again, they're going to have to mismanage things. They're going to have to manage things better. And I can understand a loan with an obligation to buy a year from now, the financial structure might get better. For what it's worth, I think they will sign him either permanently or an obligation to buy. I don't need to keep reading this. You can see that, that was just to give you a brief picture as, as a football fan. You know, not that we talk about finances, their finances at play, people. So it is what it is in that regard. Obviously, on ability, who wouldn't love Locatelli? He could, you know, he's got legs in the midfield. He's, a, you know, he's a very cultured Italian midfielder. He has a lot of development to do in his game. He's 23. A lot of people, you know, cast him as damaged goods. You know, everybody's singing his praises, you know, and may, may, mainly based off this season at Swat Solo, a year or so ago, or even prior to that, no one was screaming his name so I don't know what they got in the water in Satsuolo he's come a long way from AC Milan he's still only 23 so there's a bit of an appreciation appreciate um 
appreciating asset. You know, he'd be a good player. He ties into what we have. You know, he's 23. He's a good player with a scope to get better. You know, him and part eight it could be levels, people, but it's not going to happen for what it's worth. Apparently, though, Arsenal are ahead in the race to sign Manuel Locatelli from Sassuolo and have made a concrete offer for the Italian midfielder, according to the Serie A club sporting director. So, like I said, I think he's going Juventus. But if you say someone's ahead of you and they've put money on the table, Juventus need to get their act together, however they're going to buy him. And of course, Arsenal technically are ahead. If I want something, you want something, but I've made a bid to buy something. I might not get it, but I'm ahead of you because I've gone from wanting it to somewhat put in a formal offer. So I don't, I think that Sky Sports sensationalising things a lot. Of course, I hope we get him. You know, I like that Arsenal have put a bid in, you know. Wonder what the bid is. We probably offered a pack of, pack of Skittles and whatnot. Hopefully, William's name was thrown in for Bents, but who knows? But for what it's worth, continuing in the last one, um, Swallow Sporting Director Giovanni Bonavalli, forgive me for, for mispronunciations, confirmed that talks are continuing with Serie A rivals Juventus. So talks are continuing. Arsenal put an offer on the table. Get your act together or put an offer that's similar structure to Arsenal or, but, or beyond that, allegedly. So there you have it, people. Juventus are the only Italian club we talked about, Locatelli. We met last week with Juventus' sporting director. Um, there is interest from their side. We haven't explored all terms and evaluations, but we have an excellent relationship with Juventus, so we'll continue these talks. So, again, they will come to a resolution. They will both see whatever other parties are feeling, and eventually I's will be dotted and T's will be crossed, people. It is true that other clubs from abroad are interested. Arsenal are one of these, and they are ahead of everyone else because they tabled the only concrete offer we have received so far. So, fair play to Arsenal. We was a bit proactive. We did what we needed to do, we, you know, but we're, the, we're ahead because we've placed an offer. We've gone from talking, so... I don't know what you want to read into that, people. That's as far as it goes. Of course, I would love Locatelli, but that one day is done. You've heard the man allegedly, for many of reasons he could, but he prefers Juventus. So we ain't got a snowballs, but we can always hope and try people. So in, in, in relation to Locatelli, it is what it is. Hit the like button. Of course, I would love him. He's cultured. You know, he can do box to box, deep line. He wants the ball. He can drive with it. He can get goals or be implored to score more goals because admittedly, I don't know how many goals he got in the league last year. Obviously, you saw he made 36 appearances for Swat Swolo. So he's he's durable and stuff like that. That would be a very good jacker replacement. Not that they're the same player. Locatelli's better, but... And we have heard Juventus allegedly are interested in Xhaka, which we spoke about yesterday. So, you know... Juventus stop trying to buy Locatelli, come by Granite, then we get Locatelli and we keep it moving. Like I said, for what it's worth, I cannot see it happening, but you know, it gives you it gives it gives you promise, people. It gives you promise. Um, you know, for the for Swat Solo, as you can see here, Berardi, Berardi, again, whether he goes to Milan or Juventus or whatever, you can imagine they're fielding a couple of offers. As you know, a couple of players that are seen as damaged goods, they go, they go Swat Solo and then they're hot, they're hot property. You saw the same with what's his face, man? Bogger of, of, of Chelsea. A lot of people are onto him now. So We'll have to see what happens in that regards. But once again, people, I don't think it's going to happen. So that's Locatelli. Make sure you're hitting the like button, folks. Um, let me see what you lot are saying now, man. Another reason he'll end up at Juventus, even though they're skint. I don't know what the other reason was, but shout out to you, my guy, because I agree with you, Chris. Shout out to you. Reese, I appreciate you for telling me to take my time, but I re I got the most understanding nation there is, man. True, but a bid is still a bid. Fair play, you know. I give Arsenal that because if you've put a bid on, I don't know when the bid's been made, in it, but I'll give it to you. You've made a bid early. You've acted early. You've tried to get in before everybody else because you know you're up against it. Certain people are bigger clubs than us, quote unquote. People have Champions League. People can offer them a better sporting project. All of these sort of things, man. For me, it's one of them where you probably had to move for him before the Euro started, just off the back of his impressive season for Sat Swallow because when bidding wars happen and the big dogs start coming in, is what it is. The only thing that might be good for us is he might not necessarily necessarily um be a for, he might not be a priority at other clubs that like, you know Juventus need to not that we don't need to but they need to sell I don't know what other business they're doing you actually saw Real Madrid are monitoring monitoring him make of that what you what you want um so we'll have to we'll have to see what happens but you know for what it's worth just at face values level who wouldn't want it man who 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 wouldn't want it? Like who on in in the, who would not want Locatelli? Man, he'd be welcome at this club. But for what it's worth, that's what I call a midfielder. But for what it's worth, it's a myth. Oh, apparently, killing that that could be a video. Killing Mbappe don't want to sign a new deal at PSG, madman. But that's not what we were talking about. I'm actually trying to find something in relation to Saliba as well, people. There we go. We'll speak about that in a second. But 
yeah, Locatelli is Locatelli, isn't it? We don't think we're getting him, but what do I know? Shout out to Arsenal for placing the bid because it means we must have scouted, done all due diligence and the rest of it. Obviously, Locatelli is not Lucas Torreira, but we do have to be mindful of the last midfielder we signed from Serie A. I don't believe that's the case. I just have a duty to, you know, to mention it to you guys, people. So that's that, people. What are you lot feeling? Timestamp done. Let's move on, man. They only announced the bid to tell Juventus to pattern up, but I hope we get it done. Trust me, AM. So like all of us, we hope that, you know, Juventus pull out or something doesn't happen and things like that. But, you know, Juventus is pull out games probably weak when it comes to signing Italian players. If they want Donny, they're going to get Donny. So like you said, they're just telling them to pattern it up, putting pressure them to join us. And, you know, I don't know because he was willing to take a step down to improve before, you know, he's at AC Milan, he's found his way to Sotswolo. So, you know, if you could sell him a project, if money's put on the table and you sell him an attractive project and how you're going to develop him and what you want to do, then anything can be done. It's still Arsenal. I'm sure he, he holds us in high regards like any other Prem team. But the thing is, you look at us, you know, with respect to him, I'm not going to lie to you, but Allegri, Arteta. Yeah, Arteta was a midfielder, but um, who's going to improve me the most? Just on, away from the sporting things now, because we know Juventus, there's no contest. Who's going to improve me the most? I think Allegri, personally, just because of how he acts. You know, Arteta, I don't know. Obviously, he's improved players, but, you know, to a guy that's not an Arsenal fan, you can't really see it, you know. Apparently, with respect to him, if I'm Locatelli, I'm going to say, who is who are you? If he calls me, who are you, bro? Is this Wenger? Like, I don't know you. Like, I'm going over them side. So, we'll have to see what happens, man, but... I think it's just to put pressure because like you saw there, we have an excellent relationship with Juventus. We're going to continue to talk, but only Arsenal have offered. So we're going to continue to persist with Juventus. Clearly the player wants it, but pattern up because there are offers from abroad. I mean, interest from abroad and there's been one offer from abroad. So shout out to them, but that seems like where it's at, man. That's, you know, it'd be lovely to have him, but another one bites the dust really. John, 100, never going to happen, man. L like it's not just an Arsenal interested thing. Firstly, yeah, we put a, we put put money on the table, but we'll see where it goes, man. And is our offer suitable? You know, to be fair, I have to assume it is because he hasn't dismissed it. You know, the the guy didn't dismiss it. So was Arsenal's offer suitable? And you know, that's just gonna stay on the table. It kind of is what it is. Locatelli don't want to entertain it. Maybe he said I don't want to deal with my future till after the Euros, which if Juventus come, I'm pretty sure you're not going to do that. But yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. He'd be a star here and still and, and Arsenal is still an upgrade. Juventus is congested, but we'll see. Uh, that's the only thing. There's a bag of midfielders there, but it's an upgrade on Suetsuolo. It's not definitely not an upgrade on Juventus, man, without a doubt. He was the last Italian to play for Arsenal. Lupity comes to my head, but apart from that, I don't know. Which more wrong than come on? Hey, Oakley got put in as a FC. Let me not even give it to them, but you, you know the thing. Come on. Appreciate that, man. They are using us. Charles Watts has tweeted, we haven't made a bid. Corey, I don't know what's being gone, man. You know, Fabrizio Romano saying we bidded. The Donny, the president, is saying we bidded. Charles Watts saying we didn't bid. I don't know, in it. Unless I'm I'm not in the room with none of these guys. So I don't know what's what's the truth. There's three sides to every story. You know, your side, my side, and the truth. I don't know. Everyone's hearing different things through the grapevine. I'd probably side a bit more with Fabrizio Romano because obviously he's Italian. He must have a little links. But, you know, Charles Watts, when it comes to Arsenal, he knows his thing. You know, only David Ornstein could probably chat to him, sort of thing, if that. So I don't know who to believe. I'm just going to go off the topic of fundamentally, whether we bid it or not, he's not landing. Like, he's not coming. Like, it's not. It, I would love to know that we bid it because, like my man Reese said, it's better than. Arsenal are interested monitoring and we're, 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 we're preparing this and we're doing that. So it's nice to see because it shows me a tiny bit of proactiveness. Because again, I don't know when the bids happen, but it's nice to see that at least you know what you wanted. Ultimately, it's not nice enough because the man's not signing for the club. We ain't got a player, but it, it's a bit better than penny pinching and things. And, you know, I'm sure there's a couple of other players from Swallow we could probably pick up or let's try and have an excellent relationship with them. Like they said, Juventus have. Um, please make sure you're hitting the like button, people. I'm still here. You know, you lot are asking me questions. The creative juices are, fl are flying. So it's time to get this fan on, people. I can't even lie to you lot, man. I love you guys, but I don't like being hot, you know. This is like being in a band more time, people. 
sauna settings, but we do it for the we do it for the cause, man. We do it for the cause. Two hundred and fifty-seven people locked in. Please make sure you're hitting the like button and supporting the thing. I don't ask you guys for much, people. Um, obviously, tomorrow we're back on the Euro case, so you know you're gonna get your watch-alongs. There's two two games tomorrow. I'm gonna do both of them. Make sure you're setting a mental reminder to check out for that content. And if you do not remember anything else, remember to check the YouTube community tab on my page. That will never let you down. When in doubt community tab it out it's one of them ones so yeah man i don't know what i'm going for fabrizio roman i don't know for these agent donnies in it we just talk about football and them thing there dg back in the cut with a fresh trim i needed it man i needed it certain man i had their girlfriends and their wives and their mums and all them things i'm back but i was looking homeless man with respect to the homeless of course and of, on that topic you know what i just thought the euros has been mad you know i finished gym and that yesterday i thought you know what there's never going to be a better chance let me just Call my barber, see if it's busy. He said it's not busy. You don't ask, you don't ask Jamaican stay, sell it, sell it, Jeeves. But true, I see no one in the chair like you done no, Chris. Let's cut that air, man. Come on. So, yeah, man. With Locatelli and uh, you're scaring me with what's oh, Thomas Part A5 work, but Suma Part A, I think, is more balanced. Ah, they're equally as balanced. I'd rather Locatelli and Part A, I think there's more yin and yang, they're a bit more different. You know, Part A can pass the ball forward, Locatelli can defend. I think it's got a bit about them. I think with that, there's more clarity as well because clearly Locatelli is the one that has to do a bit more of the final third going forward sort of thing. Part A, you sweep up. I equally think Basuma would be balanced, but again, it's not the it's I'm not gonna sit here and lie for 38 games. I would not be happy with Thomas Partey and Basuma as the pivot because it's just not creative enough, you know. I, it's good when we're playing Liverpool and them teams there where we're not going to have much of the ball and we need to work and we need the option of, of, of doing that. But at the same time, it's rigid, you know. We struggle to break down low blocks already. So, again, you know, they're kind of irrelevant. I know both can play at pass of football, but let's not blur the lines. You know, Partey and Basuma primarily are in their teams to win the ball back or to be box-to-box -box midfielders. Anything they can do beyond that is a bonus. And we already rely on our left-back for creativity, Smith Rowe and a couple of others. There'd be hell of a reliance on that number 10. So, unless you're going to sign a world-class number 10 where everything's balanced, which I don't think we're going to sign that, then I think we need different complementary things. And that's why I don't don't mind Lokonga, Partey and a couple more expansive man because there'll be games. Basuma and Partey types are needed. The Locatelli and Partey types are needed. There's there's different games, different elements. And I'm not saying you, but I think many fans fail to understand that in, 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 in general, personally. So I'd, ra I'd rather that really and truly. But for what it's worth, it's just not going to happen, is it? You know? We we'll have to see, man. I do, I, I do, I do want Basuma, man. I do want this. I want everyone, man. But psh, it is what it is. Hope you're blessed, Paul. I'm good, man. I'm good. TR, they probably are using us, man. Bidded, haven't bidded, will bid. Don't know. We're just going with what's been what we've been told, and we're just reacting, my guy, man. We're at that stake, man. Please stop spamming, though. You're gonna get blocked. We get it. You made a point. Calm down. I appreciate you lot for always supporting the thing, man. How much do you think the bid was if there was any? Bro, well, there's different things happening in it. I don't know what's going on with what, but it couldn't have been, I don't know, but it couldn't have been enough, innit? Because surely you would have heard, you know, F off Juventus. We're selling my man to them, man, if you wanted them. Or at least there'd be more further talks. I haven't seen the bid's been rejected. It's been accepted. It's this, that and the other. There's, you know, we don't even know if Arsenal, maybe he's just using us for clout, which I believe. So I really don't know what's going on in that regards, man. I don't have a foggy clue, man. But, you know, it's it's, it's transfer window, innit? Everyone's going to tell little white lies, little white secrets, you know. People going to cap on names. Personally, I don't know why they said Arsenal. Why didn't they cap and say Manchester City or, or something to really make Juventus fix up, man? I don't think them man there are going, oh, Arsenal. Azimu Sanwilian on the free safe. 